Hey, how's it going everyone? Tricky Acid here and the awesome people at Super Rare Games sent in Lonely Mountains Downhill as it's their newest game of the month and I thought I'd provide a quick preview of this calm, therapeutic biking game that also isn't afraid to kick you in the teeth repeatedly if you mess up. And I love the game for it because it's so addictive and it just makes you want to jump back on your bike again and get good. But before we get into this video, I just want to let you know that Super Rare Games sell limited copies of the best indie titles and they always have a new game every few weeks that is sold exclusively in a physical copy. So if you should grab yourself any title from this shop, check them out in the link below in the description box. But with that said, be sure to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you do not miss out on future videos and let's jump right in. As mentioned, Lonely Mountains Downhill is a game that's really chilled out. There is no music, it's just you, your bike, and you just drink it all in. But I love that it's also challenging, as you can easily collide with something or end up falling to your death, which happens to me quite often. But when you get past these hurdles and hit another checkpoint, you get this euphoric feeling that you've made some progression. Lonely Mountains has a unique physics system that when you go off track to reach the finish line, you'll see your bike bouncing between boulders or when you try and build speed and catch yourself mid-air to jump over cliff edges or drift around corners, it all just works. It's a smooth experience and nothing feels static. There's a very dynamic feeling to it as if you were naturally, well, riding a bike. It surprised me how fun and addictive Lonely Mountains actually is and it's a title you can just pick up and play because as challenging as it may be, it's still a beautiful and chilled out game and it plays great on the big screen with the Switch docked though it does visually look a bit rough around the edges but on handheld, you won't really notice it as much. The whole idea is to work your way through a series of mountains of varied levels with their own scenery, and then there is also extra challenges. You can customize your rider, unlock different kinds of bikes that fit your playstyle and more. So there's plenty of content to keep you going. So that sums up my preview for Lonely Mountains Downhill. If you wish to grab yourself a physical copy, as long as they're still available, just jump onto the Super Rare Games website. And as mentioned, I'll have a link in the description box and they've got a bunch of other titles as well that might take your fancy. But with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a like as it really helps me out. Sharing it with your friends will also be awesome and I'll catch you all next time.